In this video, I'm going to uh, show you how to clone a virtual machine. Now, I assume you have installed uh, Ubuntu on a virtual machine, uh, and if you haven't, you should go look at uh, my other video on installing Ubuntu on a virtual machine. Um, so, assume you have installed the machine, the Ubuntu, successfully. Um, it's a good idea at this point to clone the virtual machine. Means I'm going to make a copy of it. Um, and that means that whenever, uh, if you have a copy, if when you are when you're installing Oracle on uh, on on the machine on one of the virtual machines, then if you screwed that up, then you can start over. You can delete off that machine and use your clone to start over. Of course, before you start over, make another clone of the machine so that you always have a backup. So think of a clone as a bit of a backup. But it saves uh, the backup saves the machine and the Ubuntu that you have installed. All right, so it's a good idea to do this. Uh, it might take a bit more hard disk space, take a bit of memory, but um, it's a good idea. So you should go to um, oh, you might not be able to see this. So in 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 Mac, you might not be able to see this, but um, in the in the menu bar, um, let me let me just move my uh, move my uh, recording window a little bit so that you can see the uh, hopefully you can see it um, but there is a oops virtual box there you click on machine and it says clone so click on clone and um, you have to choose a name for the clone and here I'm just going to do ICS 321C okay just leave that un, untouched click continue it says clone type and you should click on a full clone. Okay, and this may take a while. Okay, depending on how fast your drive is. Um, but it'll, it'll take you know a minute or two at most. And once it's done, you'll have a clone. Okay. Okay, it's done. So now, uh, let me move my screen again. Now, as you can see, I have cloned ICS three twenty one B. Uh, just to let you know, I earlier on I I ICS three twenty one A that was the one that I installed. I made a clone ICS three twenty one B. Now I make a clone of the clone of ICS three twenty one C. You can name it whatever you want as long as you just have some clones sitting around. It's a good idea. And later on, after you install Oracle, assuming you have successfully installed Oracle, again maybe a good idea to make a clone of the machine that you have already installed. Um, both Ubuntu and Oracle successfully. Uh, in case when you mess up, you can have always have another machine to fall back on. Okay, so um, that's it for this video. The next video, I'm going to show you how to um, how to how to download and install Oracle.